Alrighty, so we're in Barcelona for this one. In the S2000. Let's see what we can do here. Again, it's not the biggest track, but they are getting a little bit bigger, I think. Go around the inside of that nicely. There's the Dino. So this was called Classic Grudge, so I'm guessing... Are we in more classic cars? I guess the S2000 is kind of classic. Quite old at this point, but it wasn't when the game came out, I don't think. But the other cars are certainly classic at this point. So maybe that's what they're talking about. Right, we've got to catch these two in front. They're going pretty quickly. And this thing handles way better than anything I've driven so far. And it gets spun out by the Toyota. So what's that? Is that the Jag E-Type and... Right, that was awful. Struggling with traction there as well. I've gone to two seconds behind now. This isn't so good. Right, I need to get used to this handling of this car because it's quite a bit better than what we've been using. So is that the Lancia right in front? Two seconds ahead now. This isn't looking too good. It just turns so much better. I keep running out of... Uh, well, I keep having too much space when I turn. But that means I can definitely go faster than I am doing. That's a bit better. Using more of the track there. Right. I think these guys pull away on the straights by the looks of it. Or the Jag certainly does. Right, we're only two seconds behind now. Can we do this? Getting a unintentional drift going there. Right, here we go. Around these corners is where we're going to make some of the time up. I always struggle with this section. So difficult, and that Jag's having a bit of trouble there. You alright, mate? Can't get around that corner. Let's just go around the inside of you here. There we go. Now. Oh, I thought I was the last lap then. Got another lap, luckily. Let's try and uh, reel this Lancia in. I'm assuming it's the Lancia, yeah. It is. It's the Stratos. Come on. Let's do this on the inside. We can do it. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. He didn't see that coming, did he? Okay, he's coming back. No, I didn't mean it, mate. Come on. Don't do it. Unison drift in there. Can we get them on the inside? No, that's not going to happen. Okay, we're actually running out of track now. We've got to try and get him on these corners. Oh, I think I completely ruined it. I think I spoke too soon. Unless a miracle can happen on this last corner. Oh dear, that was my own fault. I shouldn't have trash talked him. If I'd have just been nice to him, he might have let us win there. Right, at least I've got the hang of this car a little bit now. Might be able to do better this time. certainly better in the corners, but it's pretty much slower than everything else in a straight line. Uh, that's not what I wanted to happen. I was going for the overtake on the inside. That didn't really pay off that time. And that Jag is miles ahead. Right, that's a nice corner there. Just the Dino. Oh, I was just about to say that's going to be a nice corner there, but uh, we sort of ruined that. Come on. We can do this. Let's do him on the inside. Let's just use him as the corner a little bit. Let's draft this Jag. He's going to get away. That straight line speed of that Jags, pretty mad. Right, we're getting some good lines now. 
It's all coming into place. Get on the brakes nice and early. Try not to slide. Round the inside, there we go. Right, I'm going to have to sit in behind this Lancia because he's going to start pulling away. Make sure I didn't bump draft him. Look at that Jag go. He's putting on the turbos. Get no spool up. Don't think it has a turbo, just made that up. But uh, there we go. Right, we are in the lead with some sort of distance. I always say that and then mess up. I need to stop looking behind me, even though I can't. Right, that's better through there. He continues to look behind him, even though he just said stop looking behind him. I'll do it on the straight so I know where they are. As soon as I'm anywhere near in front, I then start driving like I've got no arms. There's an example. Pressure. It's the pressure. Right, early on the brakes here. And I did that a bit too soon. I started to uh, oversteer a bit there. This is one of the only cars I've driven that actually sort of oversteers a little bit. Steers too much in, more than you expect. Which is probably easier to. There we go. That was another example. Probably easier to um, to live with than understeering cars. But you just got to get completely used to it. Right, the Lance is right behind us again. He's going to try and take revenge. There he comes. Oh, just about managed to not hit the barrier there. Let's go out nice and wide, whip that in, off the accelerator a little bit, there we go. Much better around the corners than that Lancia is, luckily. Right, second attempt, that was done there. That was actually a little bit more challenging. Um, definitely messed that first one up after trash talking the Lancia. It wasn't having any of it. But uh, yeah, so they're all classic cars, I think is the aim of this one. It must be modern ish against classic and then it must swap around but anyway on to the next one